guys, welcome back to another iLogic tutorial video. Today we are going to be picking it off from the previous lesson where we were making these parameters using iLogic. This time we are going to be extracting those parameter names from an Excel file and just creating a multi-value uh, multi list from that Excel file. Let me show you the Excel file right now. This is the Excel file. These are the uh, three parameters and these are the the values we want to make a list into. Let me make this smaller here so I don't take up the attention. Alright, so picking off from off, I'm going to copy and paste this paste this over here. I'm gonna I'm going to delete it. Uh, we're gonna start off by defining our Excel file as XLS file as string. Let's go to our folder. And that is not it. All right, here we have our location. I'm just going to copy in that address as text. Go to this and the Excel file. I cleverly named as book one. Oh, come on, I don't want to do that. All right, so that is our Excel file. We are going to open this Excel file using uh, Go Excel. Open XLS file. Our sheet name is Sheet One, which I cleverly named. So we are going to have to go through each row, right? We're going to have to step down, and we're going to do that using a do loop. Uh, let's define the integer i. As integer. We're going to start off at two, just because the row is at the second one. So do loop I'm going to kill it if it ever uh, if it ever reaches 100 I'm just going to kill it I is equal to I uh, plus 1 I'm going to I'm going to define the param parameter name as param param is going to equal to go excel cell value the first column is a I uh, for the row, and uh, I'm going to kill it if we uh, enter this void area. If we enter this void area, obviously there's no parameter there, so we're, go we're going to force kill it when it gets to that location. So if param is equal to, oops, is equal to, oh, come on, is equal to blank, then exit do. There, there you kill it. Um, but if uh, but if it doesn't, then we are going to continue, and if the parameter does not exist, but we are going to just copy and paste this from what we did on the previous video. And it's intent, which I'm going to suppress the remaining of that as well. So right here, we are going to add by expression. So OUP is equal to OUPS. Add by expression, param. Uh, the first value is going to be go Excel cell value. It's going to be the second column. Uh, just for our, our first value in our list, this time the units are not is not going to be uh, text. It's going to be k inches length units. Let me go ahead and remove this. All right. Am I missing something? Yes, I am missing something. What is? What am I missing? I'm missing the list. Dim list as i list. What the heck is an i list? Are you? Um, you must be wondering. Well. The reason I'm using iList is because iLogic tells me to. So I uh, list is equal to go Excel. So values, and this is where iLogic tells me that I have to use iList. If you look right here, it says as iList. Whatever you assign this uh, variable, it has to equal to iList. So that is um, Y. So here we define the first cell, which is going to be B and I. Uh, it ends at F and I. So there we go. We have our code. Oh, I forgot. Multi value dot list is equal to list, which is our i list. Oh, I'm missing something. Oh, the, I messed this up. Param goes here is equal to list. There we go. So once again, those values do not exist, but once we hit run, oops. Where did I go wrong? 
oh, I have to put that as n, should be i. Alright, let's try again. Alright, let's take a look at our parameters. Scroll down. There we go. We created our parameters. And if we double check here, just so you guys don't think I'm doing something weird. Yep, there we go. And we made it to a list. All right, so I hope that that video was helpful. I hope you guys take something away from this. Uh, stay tuned. I will be making more of these iLogic videos. Talk to you guys soon.